This video will walk you through the configuration of the Top Server BACnet IP driver. First, click to add a channel. A channel represents a communication medium from the PC to one or more external devices. A channel can be used to represent a serial port, a card installed in the PC, or an Ethernet socket. A channel and a device driver are closely tied. Only devices that the selected driver supports can be added to this channel. Give your channel a friendly, meaningful name. I will call the example channel BACnet IP. Click Next and choose the BACnet IP driver from the device driver dropdown. The Enable Diagnostics box can be left unchecked for now, but you can always go back and check this after the channel has been configured when troubleshooting communications. Click Next and choose the appropriate network adapter you want to use for communications. This can be left at default if using the default adapter for this operating system. Click Next to review the right optimization settings. These should be left at default when setting up your project. If you find you need to change them later, you can always go back and modify them after the channel has been configured. Click Next to review how the driver will handle non-normalized floating point values. This can usually be left at default. Click Next to set the network settings. The UDP port can be left at default unless your device is using a port number other than the recommended port for the BACnet protocol. Typically, all BACnet IP devices on an Ethernet network use the same port. Since this is an Ethernet driver, configuring a unique channel per device can increase the driver's performance. However, unlike most Ethernet drivers for top server, the BACnet IP driver requires that each channel bind to a unique local address. The address is the combination of IP and port. To create a BACnet IP driver project with multiple channels while using the same UDP port on each, the driver will need to be run on a multi-homed computer. For more information on multi-homing, see the Configuring Multiple Channels section of the BACnet IP driver help file. The network number specifies the local BACnet IP network number on which the driver will be located. It should be set to the same network number as the local devices. Click Next to set the foreign device settings. A foreign device is a BACnet IP device or software application that resides on an IP subnet that is not part of a BACnet IP network. BACnet IP subnets are considered part of a larger BACnet IP network if both directed and broadcasted messages can be forwarded to and from the other subnets by IP routers and BACnet broadcast management devices. Checking the foreign device parameter will enable the device discovery functionality if the channel is not connected to a BACnet IP subnet. The IP address of the remote BACnet broadcast management device should be entered here. The registration time to live specifies the length of time the BBMD should forward broadcast messages to the driver. A few seconds is generally sufficient unless import on startup is enabled or discovery timeouts are anticipated. Very long time should be avoided to reduce the load on the driver in BBMD after discovery is complete. If none of the devices configured on the channel will be using the driver's device discovery feature, the foreign device settings can be ignored. Click Next to set whether or not the driver allows change of value notifications to be processed from a BACnet device on a different BACnet network whose MPDUs do not contain the source address. This setting is not commonly used and may decrease performance on BACnet networks with many COV notifications or broadcast requests. Click Next to review the channel configuration and choose Finish. You will now see your configured channel in the project. Next, click to add a device. Give the device a friendly, meaningful name. I will call the example device, Device1. Click Next to set the device ID for your particular device. This is sometimes also referred to as the network ID or network address. Click Next to review the scan mode. We recommend leaving this setting at default. Click Next to specify the timing settings. We recommend leaving these at default as well. Any of these settings can be changed later if needed. Click Next to define whether or not to use auto demotion to take unresponsive devices out of the polling cycle for a specified period. We recommend leaving this setting unchecked during the initial configuration. You can always go back and change this if you find you need it. Click Next to specify the database creation settings. 
the driver can automatically generate a tag database from the device. Here you can specify if and when the tag database will be created, how previously generated tags will be handled, and if you would like the tags to be included in a specified tag group. We will leave this at default for now and revisit this feature after the device has been created. Click Next to set the message segmentation settings. These limits will be imposed by the driver, not the target device. Lower values will automatically be used if the driver is constrained by the target device. It is generally beneficial to send messages using the largest frame and the fewest segments possible. In most cases, the default settings are acceptable. The maximum number of items per request limits the number of items that can be packed into read property multiple and write property multiple service requests. The actual number of items packed into a request can vary depending on how many items are due for reads or writes at a given time. Generally, the higher the value, the better the performance. For large requests or responses, however, performance gain may be diminished by message segmentation. Unfortunately, there are no general rules for determining the optimum setting. To refine a particular application, users should experiment with this setting. Devices that do not support read property multiple or write property multiple services should be set to 1. Click Next to set the command priority. BACnet IP devices prioritize write requests to certain commandable properties, such as the analog input value, according to a command priority. The later the priority, the later the command gets processed. Click Next to set the change of value settings. When COV notifications are used, the BACnet IP driver does not have to continuously pull the device for the current value of these properties. This reduces network traffic and the communications processing load. Use unconfirmed COV specifies that the driver will receive COV notifications from the device. The device will not expect acknowledgement of those notifications. Some devices require the subscriber process identifier for all COV items to be zero. If this is not the case, this setting should be left unchecked. When unchecked, a unique identifier will be used for each subscription. Use confirmed COV tells the driver to acknowledge each received COV notification. Selecting do not use COV means all of the device properties will be pulled even if the COV address modifier is present. Cancel COV subscriptions on driver shutdown tells the driver to send messages to the device on shutdown to cancel each of its COV subscriptions. Although this may slightly delay the driver shutdown, it can be important if the device has limited resources for subscriptions. Enabling Await COV Cancellation Acts will cancel subscriptions one at a time. It will wait for the device to reply with an acknowledgement before canceling the next subscription. It also prevents the runtime from shutting down until all COV subscriptions have been canceled. It may be helpful for a device that cannot process multiple subscription cancellations at once. An application can subscribe to COV notifications on a temporary or permanent basis. If zero is specified, the driver will request permanent subscriptions. In this case, users should check Cancel COV Subscriptions to make sure the device can immediately reclaim resources that are no longer needed. Users may also subscribe to temporary subscriptions. One second prior to the end of the subscription, the driver will automatically renew the subscription for active tags. Click Next to set the tag import settings. This driver has the ability to automatically create tags for almost all of the supported device properties. The tags can be imported from a device or from a Symmetrix OPC server export file. Here you can specify the object types that will be generated. Click Next to set the discovery settings. The driver can discover the device automatically or manually if the device does not support the IM and WHOIS services or broadcasting messages on the network is undesired. The discovery scope specifies whether the driver broadcasts WHOIS messages over the local Ethernet subnet, over the entire Ethernet network, remotely using the global broadcast IP, or directly using a specified IP address. The IP address defines the network nodes to which the driver sends messages and from which it accepts responses. This is the IP address of the device if that device is on the local Ethernet network. If the destination device is on a remote network, this setting must be the IP address of the local router through which communications are conducted. 
If using manual configuration, there is an option for the driver to use remote data link technology. This parameter controls whether the driver automatically calculates the BACnet MAC for a BACnet IP device or if the driver uses a hex string for the BACnet MAC. If a device is on a remote subnet that uses a data link technology that is not BACnet IP, such as MS over TP, Lawn Talk, or ArcNet, the BACnet MAC must be entered manually and the checkbox should be checked. Click Next to review the device configuration and choose Finish. You will now see your configured channel and device in the project. Tags can either be accessed dynamically from your client application or using a static address in the server. Static tags can be generated manually or generated automatically using the database creation feature. To auto-generate the tag database, go to the device properties and navigate to the database creation tab. Clicking the Auto Create button will generate static tags in the server using the addresses in the controller or import file. Information regarding any configuration settings or optimization settings not explicitly mentioned in this video can be found in the top server help file. To view the help file, go to Help, Server Help, and the Configuration. Configuration settings pertinent to all drivers can be found in the server help section. For information on a specific driver, Navigate to the desired driver and click Launch Driver Help. This concludes our configuration of the BACnet IP driver. As always, our support team is available to help you every step of the way. If you find you have questions or need any assistance, please do not hesitate to contact us.